that's about it. Alright. Or did they push them off because of the boogie virus? Nope. Everything's still in place, my friend. Unfortunately. Alright, I need to concentrate and not be a fucking genius. So I want I had it when I went into Seath, I was like a minute and a half ahead of the world record with that run I made, but I know it doesn't need to be all that. I can see that it's gonna be really hard though to, to finish a run. You gotta kill the Seathy man! Yeah, this is no joke. If I honestly, I'd be happy with finishing one run and then just kind of like maybe hitting pilot style for like a few days and then coming back to it. Dude, I think you can just. Yeah. Can you get that worldy? I think I could if, if uh. You know, the, the RNG was right. The RNG does seem to be right. There's maybe only like a 1 in 100 chance that you get it or something. It's definitely something like that. Well, and like, what's funny is like, the that second place time I got, that was like 1.2 seconds away from Dizzy's. Uh, the RNG was in, in a way that I could have got a better time, but I didn't know about like strats that were a thing at the time. Like uh, passing inside on one of the swinging ball chain thingies, whatever spike balls, traps. Which, had I known about that technique during that run, I would have tried it. Probably either died or got the world record. Probably died though. Because it's not easy to do, really. Well, that doesn't save 1.2, I don't think. I think it saves, like, I'm not sure. Like, it's it also would changed. Like you, was was it? I mean, I think actually that doesn't matter what your cycle is. Well, do you know? I'm talking. I'm not talking about the big one. I'm talking about the one right before the final door you go through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the second side spike. Yeah. Yeah, I um, I think it's you might be able to just skip both of them, kind of like you do it. Spike ball skip that I've done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not three. I don't know. I, I just remember the, the hardest thing about pilot style is that it's an, oh, an emulator, to be honest. Like, it makes it faster, but it's harder to control than if it was like on hardware. Which I can run pilot style on my PS1, but it's just not as fast at all. Dizzy would like really choose a category to grind out fairly well. Like I know he's been doing New Game Plus bad, but well, he's been doing a good amount, I suppose. He just hasn't really committed though. It's always been a little bit here and then he plays something else. But you know, everybody gets burnt down in Kingsfield. It's whatever. It's normal as fuck. I do know he likes shorter runs though, so that is what he told he's told me many times. I prefer longer-ish runs. Like, I like... Good ending is, like, the length of, like... Yeah. It's, like, the right... It's just the right length. Is 
there's a ton of room for improvement, whereas with something like any percent like it's starting to get to that point where there's just not much to say. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean like it plays along with Dizzy's love for like doing level speedruns, like single level speedruns. You know. Oh, so. I like doing that too. But I have different I don't know, I like doing a lot of different shit. Yeah, I I don't like single level speedruns at all. I well for myself, I can't stand doing stuff like that. But it would make sense to do it if you want to improve your like overall time for like a complete run. Cuz you can practice the, those single levels over and over again. I guess in that aspect I can see it. But I know you did like wave race and shit, right? I think oh, like yeah, I've done a ton of racing levels, but I mean Which have like it's its own thing. Yeah, they yeah. have like advanced features for that. Like a lot of them let you race against your ghosts. Which I think is amazing. I would love that for this game. What? Oh! I wish I could mod like mod the game. Cause that would be like the number one thing if I could somehow find a way. Oh my god, the greatest mod Okay, but well, hold on, hold on. The question is would that be or a randomizer? I mean, yeah, randomizer has been done. I mean, this maybe has been done. I haven't seen it. Oh, I don't know you mean. A ghost into a game. Right. Yeah, that would Wouldn't be that like. Be fucking sick, though, dude. It'd be epic. I personally would just absolutely love a randomizer of this. That'd be so cool. Oh yeah, dude. No, we could just... That, the fun would never end. We just end this fun. Which, I know you can... It can be done through Cheat Engine, but you need, you have to find the values of, like, every item. And that's fucked. In my, for me, anyways, I, I I have no idea how to get that kind of information. But basically, you know, you get all those values and it just scrambles them. All right, let me run over here. One, two, three, one, up two, up three. So we have free dump this week. <laughs> okay. I love it because I will take in thousands of pounds of junk. They do free dump twice a week, twice a year. Uh, okay, Clat, sure, man. I don't get it. <laughs> do every enemy as Alfred? Whoa, hey guy, calm down. We don't want all that. No, you know what would be really fucked? A mod that made this a third person game. <laughs> oh, that would be the greatest mod of all time. <laughs> That'd be That'd so fucked. That would be even fun. greater than the other thing I said would be the greatest song <laughs> of all time. That would be so fucked, dude. It would be so weird. <laughs> like where it's like, like something like Elder Scrolls where you can like click the right stick. And it like changes it from first Ooh, to third. Dude, we might as well just make an HD mod. Yeah. HD mod. HD mod. Hey, Clat, do you know anything about this ghost skeleton here? Because he can't damage you for some reason. Every NPC has Seath and every item a dragon crystal. Yeah, sure, Clat. Whatever you say, man. That reminds me of, like, the Dark Souls. Dude, mod. if you could actually have, like, every enemy be seek, that would be hilarious. It'd be insane. It'd be... Your game would lag. It would lag constantly. <laughs> <laughs> it might crash, dude. <laughs> Imagine if you just had two. Like, it yeah. already lags the hell out of the game. It would just be, like, fucking... It'd be, like, the 4th of July, basically. Just sparks and everything flying everywhere constantly. Dude, you'd like spawn and like you'd be like loading in and you'd die from a fucking projectile. 
Like when you aggro fucking Gyra in uh, 2J. Yeah. Just goes nuts. <laughs> and you just like die. They come in and <laughs> randomly die. Like, oh, I just up. Oh, I just took 300 damage through the wall. Cool. Or like when you go in to fucking fight Alfred, it's Alfred and Seath. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that blue skeleton can't kill. Well, as far as I know, I don't know if there's like certain things you have to do but i stood in front of him for like 30 seconds and he's hit me like seven times and i have not been yeah, damaged he do anything. he's like another one of those from software troll things i think probably yeah you know what i bet you probably take damage if you attack him or something no i even tried that I, he's all, i think he's like a lore thing oh gotcha he's like a okay yeah gotcha he's like a very uh, from software Yeah, that's weird. There's a couple different things like that, because there's also the log stalker that doesn't attack you. You can talk to you. Oh uh, yeah, he gives you a fucking crystal flask. Shit. There's some weird shit in this game. Fucks you up. They were doing some interesting shit, but it, like most of it for most people did not land at all. They were just like, fuck this game, it sucks. Right. And then here we are over in the corner like, oh, actually it's good. Well, it's definitely pre. It's, it's definitely really very uh, Dark Souls before Dark Souls for sure. Um, let me think here. Okay, I gotta sell, sell, sell. We might sort of two, five, seven, seven. Okay. You never noticed? Yeah, it's it's interesting. Wait, Clat, open up your fucking book. I knew he was in there. Give us the rundown, Wait, bro. Who? Who's in there? The blue skelly. Oh, yeah, tell us. Clat, you know all. Clat, tell us the fucking biz. Clat, 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 tell us the biz. The mighty and wise Clat. Clat, you got the book. We need to write a musical about Clat and his magic book. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that shit about the demo that I posted? Have you ever seen that before? No, what are you talking about? The, the Kingsfield 3, uh, was it 3J, I think? No, the, the original, the Kingsfield 1J. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the beta, yeah. Yeah, yeah the beta, that. that's what I meant, not demo. Yeah, that was interesting. As far as I know, the only demos are like, um, pilot style demo. I know. There's also that Shadow Tower demo that I played on the US PlayStation magazine. That was kind of cool. They just like cut off all the connectors to the lower levels, so you can only stay on like the first two areas. Hmm. Everything else is just shut off. Oh, maybe you can use the lens of truth on it. That blue skelly. Wait, is that you? Can, you can do that in this game, right? Yeah. There's like a tr truth glass. Or tr there That's what I meant. Yeah. I'm cheating. I need to check my hardware. No, try it out yourself, man. He doesn't hurt you. Truth glass. Yeah. I wonder if using the truth glass on that blue guy will tell you something. Probably. It's probably a pacifist. Oh well again. The reason I keep talking about pacifist because I keep thinking about I keep wanting to remind myself of the big Lebowski because his friend is like talking about how these criminals are pacifists and he's making fun of them and shit. So like ever since then I've just found it funny to like use the word pacifist. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't remember his friend's name, fucking Jeff. 
go whatever that guy is the guy from Roseanne that motherfucker he's like I doubt yeah, he's like I dabbled in pacifism myself not in Nam of course <laughs> I don't know that's just that's what keeps bringing that up in my mind so I keep thinking about that quote It's weird that it's funny too, because like, it's like a movie that like, if I was young, I wouldn't, like, I would be like, what's so funny about this? But like, as I've gotten older, I'm like, wow, this is actually really funny. And I don't know why that's the case, but it's not funny to like, a kid. Let's go. I remembered how the menu there. Yeah, maybe I'll use the truth glass. Okay, well, I need to shut up and concentrate. You thought that had to do with Jewish belief? No. Pacifism is like just a term. It's not attached to any religion. Dude, Jewish beliefs. That's kind of funny. What? And random. Yeah, that's random as fuck. It's like, uh, it's like being a nihilist. You know, it's like not attached to any religion. It's just like a state of mind. Clat. Clickety clat. It's a philosopher. he was using it in a Jewish context. Oh, you mean in the Big Lebowski? Is that what you're talking about? That's great. Because the death one still doesn't apply, but yeah. What? I'm fucking penis. Uh, he isn't Jewish, so it makes sense. He's a vet. He is a vet, but also keep in mind he's kind of like, because when uh, Jeff Lebowski refers to them as China Man, he he corrects them. So he actually wouldn't say something like that because he cares about proper terms and not being used. Uh, uh, what's that word like? Um, yeah, whatever that term is for being like nice overall, like that. Whatever that means. He's like, um, yeah, that. He uses proper terminology. So he wouldn't really call it something like that. Alright, alright, he's doing a dance on me, that's fine. Oh, thought I died. Politically correct. He always uses politically correct terms, so he wouldn't use something out of context to explain some kind of Jew thing. Walter, yeah, that's his name. Walter. He's like, and dude, China man is not the preferred nomenclature. I think he says China, Chinese American, please. Something like that. Not that kind of guy. Though, I don't know, though, I guess he doesn't really have... He's not really someone you want to look up to either. <laughs> this is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. Let's 
get killed by Seath real quick. I still don't understand what free dump weeks means, Colonel Clack, because I pretty much get the, the dump freely any point in time during the day. I thought everybody did. Papa. Don't forget the boots of wind. They're already equipped, my man. But... That's not my concern. My concern is that Seath needs to be perfect. Or else you die. 20, like, you die 100% unless Seath is nice. <gasps> the last time I died was my fault. I will take the blame. The blood was on my hands. They charge you to take oil tire. Oh, oil tires furniture, but not this. Oh, oh, that's actually kind of cool. Nice. That's what dump weight means. Gotcha. That's actually pretty cool. I wouldn't know shit about that because I don't own property that I have to pay to get my like garbage taken. So I don't know anything about that. He's fucking me. He don't give a fuck today. I need to be careful not to go through him like I did last time. That's where I really fucked up. Hmm. Motherfucker. I'm playing around. Those nimble ass fucking feet. Tiny dancer motherfucker. He's like, look at these new shoes my mommy just got me. Nice, you throw up. Oh. Ah, this fight can turn bad so fast. Holy shit. I need to, my problem is I need to not go through him sexually. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, oh. He's doing the business. right through him again, like a bowel movement. Mm. Love that you're embracing the joy of sea. Yep, he's giving me the fucking shenanigans, bro. Not even that, it's me. Oh, he stresses me out. Stop it! Alright, where'd you go? Mmm. Damn. It's just like, not today, Jesus. Sweet Jesus, it's a fire. Come on. Stop tap dancing on my ass. Thank you. Jesus. That was so ugly. God, that was stressful. Did you get it? Did you get the record? Yeah, but I lost like 60 seconds. That's still awesome, dude. That's a new 
Longest seed of my life. Yeah, but still, it's in there. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Just uh, didn't like losing all that time. Losing all the time! But I guess I did make it actually through the run, so that's good. But that. Very good, dude. I can save you a ton of time. two of those, you're already ahead of me. You're gonna get way better. Do another one! Do another one! Oh, bang, yeah. bang, bang! Definitely. Nice, dude. Impressed. Taking <sighs> it to the next level, then. I'm still waiting for like somebody to show up out of nowhere and just start doing runs. shone in the brilliant sun. Reposed in reverie, he seemed to be listening to something coming from the very light itself. Brightly does the fire of light burn within your heart, Austin Lyle Forrester. Long have I waited for such a line to be born after quail the darkness born in the hearts of man and beasts alike. As long as your line may reign, you shall be known as the Golden King, and peace shall reign in your world. With the lesser paths of power coming into alliance, there's no longer need of me. I will finally return to Silvall. Your courage and vigilance has returned the light to your world. For this, I grant you back the life of your queen to be. The darkness enveloped Lin's body, but her spirit remained pure to the light. Peace, Golden King. Thanks for the GG's guys. <laughs>